Hello everyone, and welcome to the uh, 17th C++ tutorial in my series of C++ tutorials. And um, even though I had some uh, problems speaking last tutorial, I suppose I managed to tell you that this tutorial is going to be on how to read um, stuff from a file. So um, actually, we are going to use the file that we created last time, so you go to file, open project or file and now open writing now we are going to erase this and this we're going to change output a file stream to input file stream because now you know we're talking about a file that already is existing on the computer and I'll have to define what file we're talking about, what uh, already existing file we're talking about, and we're talking about example.txt. So uh, to make this actually execute, you have to make sure that uh, this uh, file actually exists. And if it doesn't exist in the um, directory where you have all of your um, exe files, then run run the um, application we made last time to make generate our example.txt file and uh, this line right here uh, opens the stream and tells uh, C++ what file we're talking about also we're going to declare string call it line now we have to create an if statement if example dot is open this is a um, this will check for if it actually successfully opened the stream now you type while so we're actually creating a while loop right now and um, already did learn you about uh, while loops and uh, I suppose um, in your Seventh, I suppose, C++ tutorial. I learned you about a while loop. So if you don't know what a while loop is or forgot, then go back to that tutorial. Now type example dot e actually isn't example dot e o f. Okay, so we're going to say that if uh, it actually managed to open this file stream right here example then it'll create a loop a while loop that says that as long as uh, example isn't of isn't uh, in the at the end of the file that's what EOS stands for end of file it'll do this so what we're actually saying is that if you open this file then as long as we aren't at the end of the example file do this get line example and line the get line function is a built-in function that returns a string and uh, we're using it to return the string in this file and it will return all of um, the strings in this file so you know we uh, type example here to tell it what file we're talking about we're talking about example which is example.txt file so now get the line in this file and get all of the lines and it will keep doing this it will keep get uh, one line uh, each of uh, it will keep getting uh, every single line until it reaches the end of the file so it will not read the same line over and over again that's why we have this eof thing this end of line uh, this end of file thing and now type cout line and finally end line and now example dot close now create an else statement 
So also remember to erase this else statement. Program not executed successfully. Okay, so um, I'm just going to recap one more time before we um, I'm, um and I'm going to recap the whole file before we run it. Up here we um, include a uh, file stream and IO stream. And this uh, allows us to use the standard toolkits of C++. Now I have an engine right here. And what this engine is supposed to do is that it is supposed to create a local variable with the data type string called line. And now we define a um, input file stream called example. And the file we're talking about is example.txt. And it's an in input file stream because we're talking about a file that's already existing on the computer. Now we say that if it actually managed to execute this line and by that also opening the file it will say that as long as we end of the end of the file keep um, keep reading the lines in this file example keep reading each line one time and print it out. And finally once you've done that well, when it exits the loop, it will also close the stream, and it only exits the loop when it have written all of the files, uh, all of the lines in the file, because then we are at the end of the file, and it will only do this as long as we run at the end of the file. So if once it written all the lines, it'll close the stream, and I will say that if it didn't manage to open the file in the first place, it will say program not executed successfully, and we don't want to override the other file so we say save as we're going to save this as reading and now we're going to wait for it to compile and as a as and blah, 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 blah. and as in the last tutorial my Camtasia studio made my computer so freaking slow so I think we're just going to hit F9 again. There we go. And now I get an error because I spelled example wrong. E A E X A M P L E. Now that's what I'm talking about. And now it says program not executed successfully. And uh, yeah, that's probably because I don't have this file in. Um, my C++ applications folder and I hadn't so that's why we're going to open up or run the uh, writing file now it creates this uh, file right here oh wait actually I suppose I know what I did wrong yeah okay one little modification again change this to read it from the local disk because you know the the last thing we did um, in the previous tutorial was to make it put the files in the local disk so that's where it puts it now so read it from the local disk now hit of 9 again and I suppose this is the fourth time running and now as you see it says my first sentence and that is exactly what's in this file right here example so uh, yeah I suppose that's your tutorial on how to read from files and uh, I'll see you in my next tutorial hopefully and hopefully I got better speaking in the next tutorial too so uh, yeah I'm uh, looking forward to a good tutorial next time uh, I'll see you